Hey guys, if you want to see how I accomplish these beautiful brows, then keep on watching because it's about to go down. That was so cheesy. I gotta come up with better lines, but you get the point. On to the next clip. <laughs> Alright, so I'm starting out and I've already made a line right here. Sorry you guys, my washer and dryer is going, so I apologize for that. But basically, um, this is how I do my brows. So I just started with a line and then I'm gonna go ahead and push that product there up through my brows. So that just kind of creates my brow. And then I'm gonna lightly trace the top of my brows just to give me a little bit of more definition at the top, so. And basically I just drag like that. I like to overdraw my brows and then I thin them out with concealer. So that's one. It's a little too thick for my my taste. So again, I'm gonna brush up like so. And sorry if I look super shiny, I just moisturized and it's soaking into my skin. And I'm just gonna start by drawing. I do each brow a little different, but you guys kind of get the point. So now that I've put that bottom line on there, I'm gonna grab a little bit more product. There we go. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna push up um, the product from this lower brow part that I just drew. I'm gonna push it up through my eyebrow hairs. Dip brow, if you do not do this right, it can get scary really quickly and there's no going back. So start with the least amount of product and then build it up. It is so much easier to build this up than to if you put a whole bunch. I'm telling you, I've done it. And I used to do it because I didn't know what I was doing until I realized, oh, less is more. For me, it's just about filling in those pieces and making it a desired bowl shape. But if you have thinner brows than me, obviously you're gonna have to apply a little bit more product. And then right here on the inside, I like do it like this. Like I go up like little hairs just to kind of give me that. So if you like this shape, you like the thickness, you like how they look, then great, stop. But for me, they're too thick. So I'm gonna take my MAC um, concealer, Studio Fix Concealer. I, I can't remember which shade this is. NW45 maybe? I gotta find which shade it is. But this is the only concealer I use to carve out my brows. And as you can see, it's pretty deep potted concealer, so this lasts forever, but it's the only thing that I consistently use to do my brows. So what I'm gonna do is um, carve out my brows. So I'm gonna start right here. And this is how I kinda take them down a notch. And then what I'm gonna do is, cause I wanna make sure my brows start with the same type of shape, so I'm gonna actually draw a unibrow with my concealer, and I'm gonna go over to the other brow. Because I want my brows to be the same thickness. This brow is a little bit thicker, so we're gonna take it a little bit higher. Okay, so once I do that, I'm gonna take this Eco um, Styler Tools brush, and you see how it has like this flat type of puffy brush. I'm gonna go ahead and blend out my concealer, because this concealer, if you let it sit for too long, it gets stuck right there. So this brush is really good about getting right up underneath it. I'm 
Don't forget to blend out using this brush. I blend out periodically, so sometimes I'll wait till the end and sometimes I'll do it in the middle like this. But I'm gonna put brow gel on so I don't blend too much because the brow gel actually takes more off of my brows. All right, so I'm still not done because I haven't done the top, but I do like the bottoms. But I'm gonna thin it out a lot when it comes to the top. So I'm still gonna take the same concealer and I'm just going to line it like so and hug it really tight. Sorry if I'm shaking a little bit. I had coffee and I didn't eat. And when I do that, I'm like so jittery. So that was dumb of me. Like my heart is racing and all I had was Dunkin' Donuts coffee that I brewed at home. <laughs> And then I'm gonna go back over it like this. Now normally I do prime before I do my brows because this concealer is gonna be on my face, but I am filming a new primer video, so I don't wanna prime yet. And like I said, I don't let my concealer sit because when it dries, if this dries, it gets stuck. So I go ahead and blend it out as soon as I put it on. So I'm gonna show you guys I might even make my tail a little bit longer. But I'm gonna kinda show you guys the difference. As you can see, it's a little bit more toned down. Um, a lot more toned down. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. And I like for my brows to be sisters or cousins. I don't like for them to be twins. So if you like for your brows to be twins, you can make them the exact same, but I like a dramatic, more natural look. So my brows, I mean, already they're shaped differently. So, so just ignore my <laughs> halo here, but that's basically, make sure this one's. All right, so this is basically how I do my brows. Um, and I just wanted to come to you guys with a quick video because I never film it ever and I get this question a lot. So, yeah. Also, after this, I'm gonna do my whole face and once I'm completely done with my face is when I set my brows. I don't set my brows right now because if I get powder in them or if I accidentally put foundation over them or concealer on them, then it ruins it and it's already set so it's hard to fix. So I don't set my brows at all until I'm, that's like the second to the last step when I finish my face. Um, so basically, now that I have my brows done, I'm gonna go ahead and finish my face. But that's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit a thumbs up button to let me know you like it. And also don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to all the new subscribers. Thank you guys for rocking with me. I want you guys to continue to stay with me. So go ahead and share this video with your friends and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.